All right, hey, what's up, guys? It is testing week. I couldn't be more excited to be kicking the year off with a really great cycle that's going to accomplish a couple things. Uh, if you haven't uh, watched the cycle overview video, like the screen adjusted, uh, make sure and do that. That's going to be at the, the doc right here. It's also in all your notes and everything there. That's going to go over the whole testing cycle week. Uh, but the two big things we want to accomplish here are one, helping people get back in for the start of the year and give, giving them the right base they need. Uh, and those people at the same time that have been consistent through your training, giving them the skills they need uh, to really excel in the next coming months in the open when we get to more intensification in February. Uh, that said, we put out a lot of stuff for you of the goals of the fitness avatar performance and the sport avatar during this time. Uh, the fitness people, we're really looking to just build as good of a base as you can. Hammer home, good movements, uh, good aerobic base, good movement mastery, body control, body awareness, those things and learning the basic movements they need to do to be successful in your program. That's what we want. It's a fat burning program. Uh, they should look better naked by doing this type of training, right? It's long, hard sets for sure. That's where we know we're going to force the changes to happen. For performance, they're ones, uh, they've been out of fitness. They want to do the open, maybe RX, or maybe they just want to do regular CrossFit and have fun, and they're not concerned about it. That's where it's going to be, uh, for them, is going to be really important there, and the changes you make, because performance always has the biggest variance to our groups. And then finally, sport is really a small portion of people that are looking to move up the leaderboard. You're going to notice that sport's actually going to be a little harder this go round, just because I want to make sure that anyone that really is gung-ho about the open, they want to do it, move up, go RX the whole way through, they have that uh, there for them. But for most people, they either don't care about the open or they care, it's fun, they want to do it, but they also want to look better naked, not be injured, feel great, all, all those things that we want to drive home for a long-term membership uh, and retention strategies. Okay, so that said, for Monday, uh, the two big tests we have are a five-rep max overhead squat. Right? Most of our work is going to be sub-maximal strength and strength endurance, uh, meaning not one reps, but it's going to be getting the base we need to do reps over and over and over. Right? And that's not only good for CrossFit, it's good for coming back because it's just always easier to, you know, you're closer to someone untrained to do their 10 rep max than to do their one rep max. Right? That's more neural. It takes more time to build up there for their one rep. So you'll notice that most of the tests are going to be sub-maximal in that uh, sense. They'll still be maxes for a five rep, but not for a one rep. So it should help anyone new coming back in to do well. At the same time, anyone who wants to do good in the open, well, guess what? If you have a really good five rep max OHS, that's probably a pretty solid thing for this time of year. Uh, we're warming up. We want, uh, with the PVC pipe, it's overhead walking lunge with the pipe there into five overhead squats. That's just super slow down. Five, one, five, one. Five seconds down, pause, five seconds up for five reps. That's a long time. It's the pipe, so it'll be fine. And then uh, 10 V-ups or tuck up, right? Just like a suitcase sit up or toes to bar motion and pull their knees back into their chest right there. Uh, from here, a specific warm up two times through is probably gonna be plenty. A shuttle run to get the heart rate going a little more will also help for any specific mobility you wanna do. Five reverse lunges each leg. And 10 dumbbell Russian twists, get some of the core musculature ready for the toes to bar and for the overhead squat, which we know is going to be core stability, be a big factor there. The next part, we want to go over overhead squat. We've probably gone over a little bit from the front end, but give them a good uh, shakedown of the overhead squat instruction. And especially what we find is, is not the squatting, it's getting it out of the rack with the hands in proper position and up into the right lockout is the hardest part of this. Once, once it's up there, if they have good stability, they can squat it because it's not leg strength that no one rarely pinned in the bottom of their overhead squat or snatch. So it happens. I have a few people like that, but it's rare, right? Uh, it's almost always the stability there. So we want to go over how to do that and how to get in the right position for them. For part A, at 20 minutes in, we want to start training block A. It's to a five rep max for performance and sport. Fitness is at eight rep max, right? If you need an extra handle on that, I would give them a one second pause at the bottom, one second pause at the top. That's just good for control. We didn't put it on here for this one because eight rep max and overhead squat is really hard to rush. Not like a you know, push press where people can jam it out or a strict press, right? You have to kind of do it controlled here. Uh, and that's what we're looking for. 12 to 15 minutes should be plenty. About five to six sets will be good. So in that time frame, if you do a set, rest 90 seconds to 120 seconds, you should be awesome. And this is a good one if you do have a big class count the clock down on the board, not up, because when it goes up, they don't know if it finishes at 12 or 15 minutes. 
I'm gonna keep it tight, get them to 12 minutes, and count that bad boy down, and then you're, they'll know, well, I have two minutes left, I better go really soon, and you can always give them an extra minute or so. From here, we have eight minutes of prep and set up for part B. Uh, we call it uh, Hearts on Fire. It's 12 minute AMRAP, 40 double unders, 20 single leg uh, front rack dumbbell reverse lunges, 10 each leg, and then 20 10 each arm alternating dumbbell power snatch. Hearts on fire because the contractions are higher. It's kind of in that mid-range density piece, uh, but they should be able to keep moving on this workout if they are okay at these movements. And they're not super heavy, not super technical, right? The dubs might be hard for someone, but we want them to try and keep moving, right? Once the lunges are kind of done, hinging's gonna take into effect. Once that, back into dubs, they'll rest their shoulders some and the legs a little bit. So it should be able to cycle through for 12 minutes. If they can do that, breathing will be the limiter. If not, then it'll be local muscle endurance like anything else. If their glutes are super weak, yeah, they're going to be breaking up the lunges. And when they do that, their aerobic respiration will slow down some. Okay, uh, 12 minutes, 100 single unders, 20 lunge steps. That's just alternating lunge steps. And then 10 Russian swings uh, for fitness. Performance is about a 50 or 35 pound dumbbell will be appropriate. They just need one. Right, uh, and then for sport, 40 dubs, 20 single arm uh, overhead lunges. So, like games or regional style over here, and the 20 dumbbell power snatch. We're going to challenge the shoulders a little more for them because we know open workouts just they're always like hinge a bunch and have your shoulders burn out, right? So, we're going to make sure they get a little extra challenge there on that for them, and it's a heavier load. Uh, by that time, we should be done. It's a good chance to go over shoulder mobility if you have some time left in the class. We always block these out. An extra five minute buffer so if you need more time on skill instruction yeah you can do it just know your class will run closer to the end but if you need an extra four or five minutes to do that yeah take it like it's, it's important so do that so there's always a little extra buffer for everyone there and then also making sure people know uh how they did and then what's coming up tomorrow for testing week always a little tease on that's going to be good i'll tease you out right here tomorrow we're going over Lynn. I'm super excited about this one for testing week. I will talk about that in a second. Thanks.